The song Stan by rapper Eminem contains some very powerful lyrics. It became so popular that the name Stan has now become a term that is used to describe an extremely obsessive fan. The song has also greatly enhanced the career of a UK singer named Dido. Eminem used a sample track from her song called Thank You, which played a major role in the song's success. But why was Dido initially hesitant about letting Eminem use her song? And did she really name her son Stanley? We will answer these questions and more as we consider the real story behind the song Stan by Eminem. Songs are like timestamps through your journey in life. They can remind you of exactly where you were, what you were doing, and who you were with. The good times that you want to remember, and the bad ones you'd rather forget. But every song has its own unique story that inspired the songwriter and moved him to share their experience with us. In this video, we will follow the songwriters on their journey and discover the real story behind the song. The song, Stan, a chilling story about fan obsession, is considered by many to be the signature song of rapper Eminem. It's included in Rolling Stone's list of the 500 greatest songs of all time. VH1 lists it as one of the greatest hip-hop songs ever. The term Stan has even been added to the Oxford English Dictionary as a way to define an obsessive fan of a celebrity. The music video for Stan is actually a very well-produced 8-minute short film. It was directed by hip-hop rapper and producer Dr. Dre. Eminem's storytelling, as he speaks from Stan's perspective, combined with the smooth vocals of British singer Dido, make this song unique in the world of hip-hop. But what inspired Eminem to write the song? Many have even wondered if it is based on a true story. And how did Dido get involved in the project? Here is the real story behind the song Stan, by Eminem. It's said to have all started when record producer Mark Howard James saw a commercial which used the 1999 song, Thank You, by British singer, Dido. He obtained a copy of the song and added a stronger bass sound to the music. He then sent his version to Eminem. While Eminem was listening to the song, one phrase in particular really stood out to him. It was the line, your picture on my wall. It made him think of an obsessed fan. He even stated in an interview that the song was inspired by the crazy fan mail he receives. It seems that some people were taking his lyrics literally. For example, if he says he wants to slit his wrist, they want to do the same. One fan even wrote that she wears a gold ring and imagines that she's engaged to him. According to Eminem, the song is not based on a specific letter from a single fan. Instead, it's a combination of multiple fan letters. He said that he gets letters even crazier than those of the Stan character in his song. In reality, the song was a message to his fans that everything he says is not meant to be taken literally. So while Stan isn't based on a true story, it was a topic Eminem felt he needed to address. What makes the song really stand out is the addition of British singer and songwriter Dido. It was her song called Thank You, from her No Angel album that provided the music for Stan. Dido actually sings her vocals in the video while playing the role of Stan's pregnant girlfriend. According to Dido, Eminem sent her a letter, back in 1999. He informed her that he had sampled her song and wanted permission to include it in his next single. He also sent a copy of the song for her to listen to. She said she really liked his version, but was hesitant to allow a rapper to sample her music. After all, her song Thank You just didn't sound like something you would rap to. However, she did give him permission and even wound up appearing in the music video. Incidentally, while Stan may not be a true story, Dido said that her song Thank You was about her own actual experience of losing her house. This is exactly what happens in her own music video for the song Thank You. As a result of losing her home, she went through a period of depression. It only took a few minutes for her to write the song. She said she wanted to write about the experience of having a bad day, yet still being thankful for the small, yet positive things in life. In contrast, the song Stan is about an obsessed fan fictionally named Stanley Mitchell. In the video, he is played by actor Devin Sawa. 
Though Dido was not an actress, working with a professional made it easier for her. She said that he was so into his character that it actually seemed real during the filming. All she had to do was react to him. Dido even revealed in an interview that Sawa was so convincing that in some scenes he really did scare her. So her fearful reaction in the video was not an act. In the song, Stan writes Eminem a series of letters while neglecting his pregnant girlfriend. Stan's admiration is clearly over the top. In the video, he even attempts to look like Eminem. When he gets no response from his letters, he becomes increasingly frustrated and angry. His admiration for his idol turns into hatred. He starts to blame Eminem for his own personal issues and reasons that hurting himself and his pregnant girlfriend will also hurt Eminem. When Eminem finally gets a chance to respond, he writes a very apologetic letter explaining why it took so long. While reading Stan's letters, he is greatly disturbed by his cryptic messages and erratic behavior. He explains to him that his lyrics should not be taken literally. He urges Stan to get counseling before something bad happens. He then tells him about a tragic story he just heard on the news regarding a young man and his pregnant girlfriend. Then he realizes that the name and location matches Stan's letters. Obviously it was Stan. The song Stan was not only a monster hit for Eminem, it also boosted Dido's career. She was amazed at how people actually rushed out to buy her No Angel album after hearing just the sample in the song Stan. Interestingly in 2011, Dido named her new son Stanley. Though people speculated that it was because of the song Stan, Dido said that was definitely not the case. She said, as a teenager, she had told her friend that when she had a son, she would name him Stanley. She has always just liked the name. Coincidentally, when she got married, she discovered that it was her husband's favorite name as well. While Eminem's other songs have been criticized for their controversial lyrics, Stan was quite a change in direction. In this song, Eminem distanced himself from the violence and became the counselor, a peacemaker. In other words, Eminem was the voice of reason. And who knows? Perhaps his song actually prevented Stan from becoming a real-life tragedy. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and share the link with your friends. And be sure to subscribe to this channel for updates.